Hello, this is Patrick with Urban Carry Holsters, and today we're going to be doing a field stripping and full cleaning video of the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. This is an extremely popular firearm for concealed carry, not only because of its affordability, but also for its easily concealed size. This is a small handgun and can even fit in the palm of some people's hands, which makes it really easy to slip into a pocket or into a G2 holster. Some of these firearms come with a crimson trace laser on them, and we'll get into more details after the cleaning video. For now, I'm going to turn this over to Chase. So this is the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard, and I'm going to show you how to field strip and clean this firearm. Of course, first thing we want to do is make sure that this gun is safe. What we're going to do is take out the mag, make sure that there are no rounds in the mag, and as well, bring back the slide, make sure there's no cartridge inside the firearm. So we are good to go. All right, so cleaning this, this gun, what you want to do first is bring back your slide, okay? Here is your takedown pin. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate this down all the way, and then even bring it up towards there. What you can do is just take it out with your finger, it's very simple, but once you rotate it most of the way, it just comes right out. After that, just disengage your slide catch and your, sli your slide and your frame will come apart. Then you're going to take out your recoil spring and your guide rod. Okay, again, make sure you kind of hold on to this. It's not compounded. Okay, so your guide rod and your spring will come apart. We'll set those off to the side. And also, just lift out your barrel from the ejection port, pull out at an angle in your barrel. And those are basically your components when field strip. So what we want to do first is we want to put some solution down this barrel. Get it sitting in there so it can get up any kind of powder fouling or any kind of copper or anything that's left in there. What I'm going to use is this Hops Elite. Uh, it is a good product. Uh, I've been using it to clean the guns for a long time now. But what we're going to do is take our little 9mm brush uh, this is a 380 caliber, but of course 9mm is the same diameter. And the easiest way is you could put a little lead on there, like I have on this cleaning rod. Okay, but instead, I'm just going to wrap this swab around the brush. It's just as easy, and also will save you a little bit of extra time. Now, when using this solution, you don't want to go crazy with it, but just a spray or two should be enough and then go ahead and I usually insert it in from the from the bore side uh, that way I'm not disrupting the crown up at the top again this isn't really a gun made for accuracy but you want to try and keep it as accurate as possible and only using uh, any kind of metal uh, cleaning rod uh, you could potentially nick that crown so this is why I always go in through this side Okay, but just get that coated in some of that solution. And we're just gonna let that sit in there. Something else I wanna do is make sure that I wipe down that feed ramp right there. Okay, this is where a lot of residue can end up. That'll just end up making it so your gun doesn't feed properly. So as that sits there, we're gonna do pretty much the same kind of thing to the slide. We're just gonna get some of this uh, solution. And what I use is just a little nylon brush, okay? That way you can get inside all the, the slide grooves and everything like that. But again, don't use too much, just one or two little sprays. And then go ahead and get on those slide rails anywhere else that, you know, has, where there's potential friction on the firearm, okay? As well. A little bit below your bolt face as you can see there's some uh, remains of the brass from when the slide is coming back into battery that it'll slide up on along the, the rounds that are still in the magazine so this is a good place to, to give just a little good scrub as well you want to get your bolt face okay which is right here all right and there is brass and powder that can get on this and as well the extractor okay you want to just scrub inside here. Uh, I usually turn it upside down so I don't get any kind of solution inside the, fi the firing pin system. But 
Yeah, you definitely want to make sure that this doesn't get gunked up because, again, your firing pin might not function properly and maybe your extractor won't uh, function properly. So this is a good area to make sure that you do scrub down. Just scrub down other parts of the slide where the barrel meets the slide. Anywhere, again, anywhere where friction can happen. Alright. Well, that's, that, that's done. We're just going to let that solution sit on there. I'll even put some on the guide rod. Okay. This is another place where buildup will happen. Again, we'll let that sit. Now we're going to do the same thing to the frame. Okay. Again, taking a little bit of this this cleaning solution. Just get on those slide grooves. Again, this is a point where a lot of friction happens, and as well, where a lot of excess powder and that and carbon and dirt will all sit. So it is important to scrub down some of the innards of your firearm. There's also a mainspring towards the back of the magazine well. This is another area that you might want to scrub. Okay. People don't think that uh, a lot of that excess powder, when a round goes off, will get this far, but it will. And actually, another good place uh, to clean is even your magazine itself. Okay, a lot of people forget about this. Very simple with the bodyguard. There's just a little detent right here that you just press down. This will allow you to slide that pinky guard, or that pinky extension up. Just put it out the side. There's a little plastic buffer okay of course spring comes out and then the follower see what I'm gonna do with this I am gonna take this little lead right here take a swab use a little bit more of that gun solution just go ahead and wipe down your magazine while well, your magazine Again, this is a place where a lot of dirt and a lot of buildup will start up. As you can see, it's not that bad, but you let that build up over time, the magazine could uh, potentially not function as it usually does. This isn't as dirty as a cloth, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing with the spring. I'm just gonna wipe this down. That way we get any kind of residue that's left off of there. All right, so that is basically your gun taken apart. Now, of course, we're just gonna go backwards, insert your follower, make sure that it is going the correct way. Insert the spring. Your little buffer, okay, make sure that one little nub is up. Bring that pinky guard and your mags back together and clean. All right, so now that that solution's been sitting on, on this gun for a little while, we're just going to wipe off all the excess. And we'll start with the barrel. Okay, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to just give it a quick little scrubbing. That way, you know, all the, all the dirt and, and powder fouling that was broken up by the Hoppy's gun cleaner. We're able to get off of there. And then I will use I'll use this lead again. Take cloth and then swab out the excess. Again, you don't want to have it just sit in your gun. And there you have it. See, again always want to clean your firearm as often as you can because um, you know, this kind of buildup could potentially harm you in the long run especially if this is your carry piece for concealed carry All right. now do the same thing 
We're just gonna wipe off the excess of all of the, the gun cleaner that we put on the slide. Get inside all those grooves. Sometimes it might be hard just to get it with a cloth. Um, you can use uh, an air compressor, an air duster. Uh, you can also take forceps. You can even use Q-tips, okay? Help get any of that excess off. Help you to get a little bit more in-depth cleaning. And as you can see, it was quite dirty. But that's all wiped off now. We'll give the guide rod a wipe. And then, of course, want to wipe off your frame. Okay, like I said, we got into these slide grooves. Make sure you wipe off all that excess cleaner. And don't forget, also that mainspring. Okay, just want to get in there. Since it is very small, I will use another Q-tip. And of course you can break this gun down further, but ultimately if you're just trying to do a nice little field strip and especially if you're, you know, going to be carrying this weapon, you don't need to take too much time into taking it all apart and putting it back together, especially if you just need to do a slight cleaning. And again, if you do this often, you're not going to have to do a full takedown with a lot of your firearms. But now that we've wiped that all down, um, this is where I'll use just a little bit of oil. I use the Ballastol multi-purpose. Okay, great lubricant, um, but you don't need to use a lot of oil. Again, I'll reiterate this this whole time, but literally, that's probably all you're going to need. Okay, just give the barrel a coat, get in the slide a little bit, slide grooves. even just wipe down the whole slide itself. And this just adds a little bit of a protective barrier, especially if this, this gun is on your person. And the more you protect your gun, the more it'll protect you. That should be a good little saying for you. that there's a little slight film on all the places where there's going to be friction. Now we're able to put the gun back together. Okay, so we're going to start is with our slide. Okay, you want to take your barrel, again insert it at an angle, let it go down, push the barrel back towards the back, make sure it seats properly. And I'll take my guide rod, my recoil spring, and engage that. And it might be a little tricky, but this barrel has a little slot in order where you put your guide rod. It makes it very easy. So once you get it right to that position, it's not going to go anywhere. Then grab your frame, find those slide rails, slide it back on. All right, go ahead and engage your slide catch. Now, since your pin isn't in, Something like that might happen is that your barrel might be, you know, back a little bit. All you do is reach in here, push the barrel up so that it is fully up because we want to make sure when we put our takedown pin in that it goes through the barrel lug, okay, which is just a little groove in the barrel. But again, make sure that that barrel's up. So now pin can go through all the way. Now pushing this pin in can be sometimes a little difficult. Sometimes I'll even just take you know, a little plastic piece, give it a good little tap, and it goes right in. But after that, your gun is now clean, functional, lubricated, and ready to go.
All right, thank you, Chase, for that cleaning video. Now we're going to go into some additional details about the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Starting up here at the top with the sights, you've got standard drift-on sights. There's no white dot or anything like that, although you can change these out later on with some aftermarket sights if you want night sights or something like that. Now, the slide and the barrel are both made from stainless steel. They're both coated in melanite, which helps reduce corrosion and for the slide, really reduces glare. Now, that's important because this is often people's everyday carry gun and it can get wet with either sweat or just moisture if you live in a humid area like Florida. And uh, it's great to have that additional protection against corrosion. Now, this firearm is double action only and does operate with an internal hammer. The slide features these scallop serrations, which make it really easy to rack the slide back. So if you're somebody that has a smaller hand or maybe a weaker grip strength, this could be a great option for you as the recoil spring is pretty soft and softens up with use. Moving on down to the frame, you can see here on the other side of the firearm, you've got your takedown lever, the slide release catch, and the safety all right here, and they're all recessed into the frame, which helps really reduce the profile of this firearm, makes it easy to slip into a holster or even a pocket if you wanted to do something like that, or jacket pocket, anything like that. Now, the grip on this guy isn't too aggressive. It's there on the front, sides, and back, but it's not that aggressive on your hand. You might consider getting something that has a little bit more texture to it if you prefer a more aggressive grip. Now, like I mentioned, it is a double action only, so this trigger take up is pretty long. And for the reset, it's audible, but not felt in the trigger. Now, this is a self-defense concealed carry firearm, so that's not a big deal having that trigger be that uh, long of a pull and that heavy. Moving down into the magazine, you've got a single stack, six round magazine, but it does come with an extended round magazine in there if you want as an aftermarket accessory. Now for me, I really love this guy, the pinky extension, especially having larger hands, makes it easier for me to get a solid grip with at least two fingers on there, even though my pinky is going under. The Smith & Wesson M&P Bodyguard 380 is a great firearm for concealed carry. It's affordable, it's easily concealed, and with the right self-defense ammo, packs quite a punch. It's definitely something you might want to consider if you prefer a smaller firearm or just want a good 380. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you found it helpful, share it with your friends on social media. You can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or just search Urban Carry Holsters. That's it for today. Until next time, keep calm and return fire.